I am back after going out to get a slice of pizza to eat and spoke to my friends about how I'll probably do the recording. I figured, hey, it might just be a better idea that I just keep it. Uh, I'll do recordings of this, which I'm doing now, and then if somebody just wants to join, they'll just let me know. So, now that we have all the trees cut down, this is the priority of this episode. I want to set up bots so that they can cut stuff up for me. And what are you doing? Oh, there's no trees in the area. Knowing that the robot's range is 13 tiles, what I want to do is these 13 tiles is just going to be where trees are going to be grown. What I need to do for that is to I just need I just want to personally first no no I don't need you to learn anything buddy I'm going to mark down the tiles around the 13 squares just so I could get some planning done I know there's a planning option I just don't know how to access it let's see if I planning mode Oh, okay. And it's inside the select area. What? Oh, there we go. So, this 13 by 13, I'll just call it tree zone. One? Yeah, let's just call it one for now. Inside this tree zone. Huh. Okay. I guess it's not that bad. At least this way I won't get confused. And I can just go back into planning like, oh wait, where's the zone? So, I figured out something new. Cool. What I want to do first is, we're going to move these out of the way. Because even though I want tools, I need to move that over. Since this guy is just going to be cutting trees and this guy is moving logs, let's change his area to the inside net. So go do that, buddy. I'm going to want to set up a new tool because I need to get rid of this boulder. And the boulder is going to be a good source of rocks so I can keep making more tools. You never have too much of something, especially something that needs to use, be used by other uh, sources. So it's set up rock stick. Boom. All right. So you loggy man, I'm gonna remove your tasks. What I want you to do is, I only want you to pick the boulder. Now just leave it like that. Redo this until your hands are empty. There you go, and get to work, buddy. So now that I have somebody is ready to cut trees down, I'm going to set up some more bots. So at least that way. And make this a bit easier myself and I need to set up more bots so that they can charge and I don't need to do it so I can just plan on the next step I also want to try and do this with the least amount of bots possible like say with these current bots they can only do 12 actions or 12 listed commands. It's not really a lot. Once you get up to tier 2 robots and even being able to expand their minds. Okay, buddy. You're alive. I want you to... You're going to be different. Hmm. It's in the 13 by 13. Actually, save me time. I want you to dig up the turf. Now 
max it out. Dig up the extra corners, the three in this area and then the four over here. Just do this. Just do it forever. The difference in the forever, repeat forever, is that he'll keep doing it until X is there. Since the turf is not going to be there forever, it's not going to be much of a thing. So he'll actually give me a warning. Say, hey, uh, I'm finished. What do you want me to do? So we're going to get some more and get another bot ready. Even though his task is not going to take that long. Let's see. And we got a man. A new man. New bot. I want you to. Because I don't want to keep picking stuff up to make tools, you're gonna pick up the sticks in the area. You're gonna pick up sticks until your hands are full. When your hands are full, you're gonna come here. And then you're gonna repeat dropping your hands until your hands are empty. I'm just gonna keep doing that. I could name the bots to make it easier for me to just look at them and say, oh, I know what you do. But for right now, it's not a priority. Mainly because I only have like four bots and I don't have that much set up. But soon we will get there. Soon we will get there. Okay, got a shovel and axe. I know this guy is just begging for work. We'll give him some work soon, because I need you. Alright, come over to me. Drop the axe. I want you to grab the shovel. I want you to dig up the tree stumps. Because after the tree is... Uh, as soon as a tree is removed, it leaves a hole, does it not? Yes, it does. Mm, I guess I won't make a checkerboard, and I'll probably make it in rows. So I want you to do this until your hands are empty. And yeah, get to work. It's going to dig up all the stumps. And you are going to... Don't need you to do that anymore. Going to take your shovel from you. I want to set up. I guess I'll do it in rows. So, from the 13, I want you to dig. Because trees, sticks, and everything can fall there. So, where that berry is, I'm going to set up walls all around the tree zone so that's good yeah good good do this until your hands are empty get to work and you can't do anything because there's not a lot of sticks so what i want you to do for now is get the sticks in other areas just go out grab me stuff Bring him back. Okay. Now that you finished with that and the boulder is completely gone, I want you to pick up rocks. It's not a lot in the area. Do this till your hands are full. And then drop them here. Do this till your hands are empty. So now I got guys to bring me supplies to where I can just keep making tools for them. And because I want to make it a row down, I just gotta dig this up. Not every stump has to be removed by me, but just to make it clean. So I put that there. I could put that there. Okay. The next thing I want to have is somebody to plant seeds. 
So let's make a new bot. One, two, three, four. Along with doing this and the Final Fantasy series, I should be a bit preoccupied. And I haven't been uploading as of recently, mainly because events in the world and in life. But things have calmed down, and I don't really have much to worry about now. Alright, buddy, you're live. So I got the guy with the rocks and the guy with the sticks. The guy with the sticks, he's finished already? Oh, huh, okay. Uh, there's no other sticks in the immediate area that to worry about. So what I want you to do now is to pick up, pick up tree seeds in the area. And because I want to make it be storage based, just for now, pick up a seed and then plant it. So you'll immediately find a seed in the area, and then you'll immediately plant it one to one. Until I want you to do something else. I'll put these extra scrap stuff in here. And then, your line is done. So move on to the next line. Let's work. Oh! There are plans that you should try to complete in order to make progression. Not all of them will give you something to use like that party hat that's just clothing. Probably has a use later on, I have not got that far. But the chopping block is what I need. Because... A crude log and an axe. What a chopping block does is Instead of me using an actual axe to cut down the logs, I can just I can just bring the log here and turn it into planks or poles, making my life a lot easier. So since Mr. Stones is done, and because I know this process can take a lot of tools, I want you to pick up a stick, drop it here, pick up a rock, drop it here. You're going to make me shovels, but since you're not going to be a permanent shovel maker, I just need you to make four for me, please. Get to work. What are you doing? Oh, you don't have a shovel. There you go. I'm gonna turn you on. There is a better way to do this. I am just making it kind of a quick way to do it now, because, eh, I don't really need a with speed but I do have to dig up the holes that are opposite the line like this line's good this line's good when he's done with that I gotta dig that up um, so it's kind of like tree space tree space I'm only making it a pattern just to make it you know aesthetically pleasing and plus, since I don't know what the, op the truly optimized way of doing it is, I'm just doing it the way I know it works. So tree, space, tree, space, tree, space. Turn this guy on. The beginning parts, I think this episode will be just trying to make sure this area gets all nice and pretty. And because I don't want to jump cut anything, uh, can't cut that guy. So it's like tree space, tree space, tree space, tree space, tree. Oh man, that's gonna be annoying. Space, tree, space. You made your shovels. You are looking to plant stuff. Because I need somebody to cut things. Oh, I can make the new guy do it. You will pick up axes specifically from this tile. Do this until your hands are full. When your hands are full, you're going to come and chop down trees in this area. This will be the beginning of the automated system. Do this until your hands are full. You are now cut. 
Oh. Cut. X1. Okay, good. He's just literally going to be cutting trees, and his system is perfectly fine. Until it can get storage for axes, I don't need to think about anything. And I want you to make axes, please. Do this four more times. Thank you. So now I got a guy digging up holes. I got a guy to plant and I got a guy to find tree stumps. Don't want you to do this anymore. Instead, what I want you to do is to help out with the digging process and dig soil. Make it max, make it in a row. Uh, lift it up by one. Do this until your hands. Well, I'll set it forever so that I can see the indicator when it pops up. And for you, since you finished that line, stop, cord. I want you to do this line. Because that way we can start getting things done a lot faster. Yes, we're getting progress. Move this turf around. The reason I'm moving the turf is because later on I'm gonna need to get rid of it or I can just replant it like that. Mainly because it just looks better as a dirt pile. But you could get better flooring and better uh, movement speed options. Like going up this row of turf, pretty normal. But then going on this is a little bit slower. And I feel the same speed that the robots feel. So, there's no real point of making us both move slow. Cues, I can get rid of this myself. I can do that. Alright, alright. So this row is good. I gotta dig this one up myself. I am one of the bots. I'm working with the people. Well, not people. But I want to set this up a little bit faster, so it doesn't hurt to get another bot. And it doesn't hurt to try out the new cutter. So one log gets converted to two planks as normal. And I don't need to keep cutting them. Makes my job a lot easier. And I want you, new guy, to be the charger. To teach a bot how to charge, just charge a bot. <laughs> it doesn't really take that much know-how. But at least you can set it to forever. So he'll just be chilling. He'll sit there until a bot in this area where the tree zone is uh, runs out of power. He'll come over and charge him up. So since I have people digging up stuff, oh, I can give you this. And I can hit play. Because you're until your hands are empty. You're until forever. Because I don't have a lot of. Uh, rocks. I'm gonna walk over here. Leave these guys to it. In this area, we have a large rock deposit, another tree area, a little pond, some brushels. Still don't know what those are for, really. God, I can do this. Get some more coverage. I can get rid of this whole rock mass a little later. We got some cotton to pick for clothes, I'm guessing, later on. Okay. The world's a bit brighter. Good, good, good. I can set up 
some picks to leave on the side. One is good enough. I'll leave that there. I can make a couple more tools. I have more rocks. So since you're just chilling here, buddy. New task. Pick up one stick and <laughs> move it here. And the reason why I like to set it up as one task. Uh, hmm. Actually... Yeah, do this all as one task and just do this forever. It's better to do it in like say, find a stick, move a stick, pick it up, and then it cuts off into other things because sometimes bots can get stuck on commands and they will just stand there. Oh, plan complete for forestry, for chopping down, digging soil, and regrowing. We get, yeah, this one is just shirt and hat. But the totem pole gets advanced. So that's good. So since I have so many logs, I guess I can make some more bots. But I don't want to be the one to move the logs. Sadly, I have to. And you get to see the charger bot work in action. And there it is. I do I literally do not have to charge any of these guys anymore. I don't even need to charge the guy that's charging. Because I don't have a second charger bot. Okay, so now the plan is to get this set up and get another bot ready. Are you done with your. Yep. Huh, I guess they changed it. Because before, the bot would just be like, hey, I have nothing. Like, they'll have, like, ang angry face and cursing signs on top of their heads and everything. Wait, is there a hole here? Oh, they're digging up the stumps. No, don't dig up the... Well, hmm. Okay, next guy. It's going to take a while before he gets out of that command tree. So dig this up. And get to work. You're done? Good. I want you to do this. Help him out. Because I think they count the tree stumps as soil as well. Just until I can get all the plots ready. I just want to have them dig up bare soil. Which doesn't matter because they'll still keep digging up the regular stuff just so I can have the whole area be of trees you're not cutting anything because your tile your tool is broken not a problem I should do this nah just dig up the stumps I uh, dig up the stumps and then I can give this guy an axe Okay. Oh no, he's a charger bot. Where's the cutter? Oh, he needs. Actually, mm, yeah, I can charge him. Have you been cutting this whole time? Yeah, he has. I just hadn't noticed it. Okay. So I guess I can just keep finishing this. And then I can have this guy be the logs. Until I can have storage set up. In fact, we're going to need storage for the. Makes sense to move this over. This can move up. So I have tools. I want a stockpile for logs, planks, and then poles. So I'm gonna need another wood cutter. Then I'm gonna reprogram you to pick up logs in the area you can pick stuff up do this until your hands are full and you can only hold the one log so that's not a problem you're gonna do that drop it off here and actually drop it until your hands are empty because like I said 
They can get stuck. So now, I can just keep cutting stuff. Only time I have to look over here is like to say why are they not doing anything? Like now. So one, two. That should be the last row. Yeah, that should be the last row. Everything else doesn't really matter. This guy is just there. I'll get rid of him later. Uh, all the trees in between are gone. I just need to dig up this hole. So I can prevent planter from planting holes in such soil. So I have tree, no tree. Uh, wall? I still need to get rid of it. And then I can just cut down that one tree to the north myself. Because I don't want them to do it. Okay. So the logs are here. I can start doing the stockpile storage myself. Pick up a bunch of log planks. And I could just keep doing this. I could have another bot do this for me, but eh. What I'm going to do is I can set up bots to cut for me, to build for me, to do everything. So that I can move on to the next step of things. Uh, I can just put the access right here. I need a axe. Got access to those. Put a log down. And I can turn this into poles. The only problem is you can't make poles unless you have planks. So this system I would need to have is a bot to make make planks from logs, then convert one plank to more poles. Only issue is that the poles become a one to two with the planks. So it's like the math problem would be one log equals four planks, not four planks, four poles, which isn't bad, but I'll have more poles than planks and I want equilibrium. Since the storage is finished, I can get rid of these. I need to stop. Uh, I can pick up one of these logs. So I want you to pick up a log from here and throw it in the storage. I can put that in there, put that in there, do this until your hands are empty. So you pick up a log, move to the storage, and then just drop it. And I'll call you loggy. Store logs. And then, just to make it a little more maintenance, I can make a tree team. These are the guys that cut trees and they store them. They also plant. Because these guys are all just extra. And with that, I can cut this video for now since I actually got everything set up that I wanted to do for the video and I got a little bit more so the next video I guess I can make it to where the stockpiles are a bit more intricate and I can store other things than logs like sticks rocks and I can start on the food in another episode so thank you have yourselves a nice day and I'll see you in the next one